Welcome, sweet friends, to the channel Frugal Money Saver. My name is Emmy. My husband is Paul. We're so happy you have joined us today. We are an early retirement, debt and mortgage-free couple living in the state of New York. And this channel basically just shows you how to have a full, abundant life while spending less money. In today's video, we're going to take you along as we do a little lost leader clearance rack food shopping. And then we're gonna come back home, we'll show you what we bought, and then we're gonna plan our week with you and just show you what a typical frugal living lifestyle looks like. What do we do in a week? What do we eat? What's our meal plan? So we're gonna share that with you as well. But before we head out, we just wanna turn the camera around for a minute and show you and explain to you exactly what a loss leader is and why the majority of our food shopping consists of loss leaders. So let's turn the camera around and just explain that first. We literally have two days left to our no spend January, but we're running really low on fresh food. We need some lettuce, we need some fruit, things like that. But I always check the loss leaders first. And what loss leaders are, are sales on the front of the flyer that are exceptionally good prices. Right now at Stop and Shop, I'm seeing potatoes or buy one, get one free for the five pounds. I'm going to have to see how much a bag is because buy one, get one free isn't always a great deal. But we're going to see how much one five pound bag is and see if that's worth it. 99 cents for chicken legs. These are loss leaders. $2.99 for boneless chicken breasts. You've got all kinds of berries for $2.99. This is at Acme. Our favorite is ShopRite. This is really where we do the best. And you can see that they have their chicken cutlets on sale for $1.99. So that's even better than Acme. We've got bacon, 12 ounces, $2.99. Vegetables for 88 cents. These are loss leaders. They're things on the front of the flyer that draw you into the store. And they're hoping when you buy these loss leaders, you'll buy other food as well. Okay, our first stop is Stop and Shop. I got my list. I got my flyer. Look at this weather. It is so gray and cold and chilly, but we've got you along. So this is going to be fun. Let's go inside. Here we have Stop and Shop's clearance rack. It's got a lot of baked goods on it, but nothing that we need, nothing we see that we want. There's some artisan bread here for $3.39, and here's $1.50 for six rolls. What they do with their bagels, so you're not getting a whole bagel, is they slice them in three parts, which is really, I'm not even sure why they do that. And then they charge you $1.50 a bag. You should always check these racks because sometimes they have some amazing deals. They also had meat on manager's special. This was Premio Italian Sausage, $3.59 a pound. And then Stop and Shop also has a rack in the back that has clearance items. These are more grocery items, boxes that have been damaged, things like that. Next stop is Acme. Look at these clouds. It is so cold and breezy. Look what greeted us as soon as we walked in our Saturday sampler for free. Acme is great for clearance items that they place on the shelf with bright red tags. Three cookie sheets for $9.50. They looked great. I don't need them, but what a great price. Keep an eye out for those clearance stickers. Here's some 75% off sriracha sauce. These red tags are everywhere throughout Acme. Now shop right. Here in New York, we don't get plastic bags or paper bags anymore. Trying to consolidate all the bags 
so when I go in the store, we can package our groceries at the register. Here's the manager's special reduced rack at ShopRite. There was a lot of seasonal goods on here, health and beauty aids, nothing we needed or wanted, but always check these racks. So we're going to start right here with Acme. We got two cans of petite diced tomatoes with garlic and olive oil. These were completely free. At Acme, when you purchase things, they give you points. So we had points enough for one reward, and we picked the reward of two cans of diced tomatoes. So these were completely free. Emmy, what? Donuts? Are you kidding me? Saturday sampler, completely free. I got one in my account and Paul got one. So two free donuts. So far, this is completely free. Now, let me explain this. We are hosting Super Bowl. One of the snacks I like to make are nachos because they go far. You can make a whole tray of nachos with a little ground beef and some guacamole and salsa. Delicious sour cream cheese. These bags are usually $5.99. I'm going to show you the digital coupons I had for these. First digital coupon was if you bought four, you paid $2.75 each. And then if you bought three, you got $3 off. Each bag after the digital coupon, because they were on sale, came out to $2 a bag. You had to buy four, so I bought four. You cannot find these for $2 a bag. Now, some may say this is a non-essential purchase. In our defense, we know we are going to need them on February 11th, $2 a bag. They were justified. So our entire Acme haul was $8. So let's move over to ShopRite now. This is where we did the bulk of our shopping. Their prices are just so good. They had Eskadol on sale, $2.49 a bunch, not a pound. This picture I took at Stop and Shop. Their Eskadol is $2.99 a pound. This is why we tell you to shop around. So I got two bunches of Eskadol. What I will do is saute this with olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, a little hot red pepper, and we will have this as a delicious side dish for the next several days with our meals. If you have never tried sauteed escarole, it is very, very good. We got organic celery. It was $2.49 for a nice big bunch. We got a head of romaine lettuce. Again, ShopRite does not sell it by the pound. They sell it by the bunch. So this was $1.99. American cheese. Now this was a treat, $3.99 a pound. So we bought a whole pound. When you used your Price Plus card, it took off a dollar per pound. We use this in salads, we use this in sandwiches, even with crackers and cheese, and for $3.99 a pound for cheese, very good price. One cucumber was 70 cents. I got myself three bananas. And the bag of five avocados were $2.99 again. We ate one a morning. Paul and I would split one. And we would have avocado toast on my homemade sourdough. We'd put a layer of cream cheese, then a layer of avocado, and then everything but the bagel seasoning on top. Oh, so good. So these were $2.99 for five. Let me show you what one avocado cost. One avocado cost $1.49, so buying five for $3 was the way to go. Now, this was an amazing buy again, another loss leader. They had the jar of bowl and basket mixed olives, which has the Kalamata olives in it. It has the big green olives in it. They were $1.49 a jar. Five jars of these. These will go right into the pantry. I don't know the last time I saw olives for that price. And we use these on salads. We use them if we make a charcuterie board. They're just wonderful to have. 
we needed some pasta. I've been holding out for the colavita because I love it, but it's not happening. It's like $2.50 a box. Well, Barilla is very good as well. That was $1.25 a box at ShopRite. We're still at ShopRite here. Four boxes for $5. They'll go right into the pantry. The first store we stopped at was Stop and Shop. The only thing we got there were the potatoes. We got sweet potatoes, two bags, which is 10 pounds for $4.49. They were buy one bag, get one free. And then my favorite freebie from Stop and Shop is the Savory Magazine. It has wonderful, wonderful recipes in it. You can go online and look at it too. Our total, $42.94, so basically $43. I just wanted to show you how we store our potatoes. Now, these came in a mesh bag, the sweet potatoes, so this is great. Our pantry, if you can believe it, is under our steps. These are steps going upstairs. So it works out great. And what Paul did was put hooks in here and we can just hang them. The air circulates and they stay wonderful. And our regular potatoes, we hang in a orange bag we got years ago with a hanger and they just stay perfect too. The air circulates. So it's great to be able to hang your potatoes in a dark pantry. So we got home from food shopping, we put everything away, we prepped some food, and now I just wanted to share with you from my planner what our week looks like. So the first thing we did was we food shopped, so guess what? We are on top of that. This week, bills have to be paid, major bills. We're gonna go visit Paul's dad and mom on Wednesday. We gotta do some cooking for them. I'm going to see my friend on Friday. I want to do some baking for her. I have two videos. Well, I'm filming one right now, but I have to do one for Tuesday, Friday. And then I just love my stickers. They're inspirational. And this week, it's noted that every day is a gift. And I'm focusing on welcoming happiness into my life. And I buy stickers when they are on clearance. I never pay full price, but they're just fun. Now I just wanna show you what we're eating for the week. Today is Monday. We're gonna be having cheeseburgers, one of those baked sweet potatoes, and we're going to prepare a salad for the week. Tomorrow, my son comes over. He's bringing a friend. We're gonna do pasta with meatballs and sausage. We're gonna have garlic bread and salad. Wednesday, I'm going to roast a whole chicken. We're gonna serve that with rice, and then we're going to have veggie, which will probably be the escadol we cooked up with the olive oil and garlic and all that yummy goodness. On Thursday, with the leftover chicken, we're gonna make some chicken fried rice and mix in a bunch of vegetables. Friday will be my homemade sourdough pizza with a salad. Saturday will be homemade chicken soup and grilled cheese and Sunday will be ravioli with butter and garlic and again a salad and then this is what our typical week looks like not not typical some weeks we're we're in the house all week we went food shopping today so that's done tomorrow our son comes we do a movie he's bringing a friend we'll have some pasta super fun Wednesday's a busy day for us. We have to pay our taxes. We have to pay our insurance. We do those in person. And then we're going to go visit Paul's parents. I want to cook, bake for them as well. Thursday, we're home. Friday, a friend of ours invited us for lunch. So we're going to go there. I want to do a little baking for her. Saturday, we have a free concert at our library. Super excited to go to that. And then Sunday, church. As you can see, our week is pretty simple and we do our filming in between. Just a quick glimpse into a week in our lives and what we eat and basically what we do. We hope you enjoyed today's video. We hope it was encouraging. Today's question of the day, we want to challenge you to give us five days a week worth of your meal plans. What are you eating? Do you have some food prep you have to do? Are you incorporating loss leaders into your grocery shopping? Saving money on food is one way we really can control our budget. 
a lot of things we don't have control over, like taxes and things like that. But as far as what we're spending our money on in the way of food, we really can trim it down if we shop those lost leaders and clearance racks. So leave us down below what you did this week as far as meal planning, shopping, and finding those great deals. We thank you so much for spending this time with us. We ask that you please give this a big thumbs up. It helps us so much. Don't forget to leave a comment. We appreciate each and every one. Subscribe if you haven't, come on in. We'd love to have you be part of our family. We ask you to be well. We ask you to be safe. And above all, we wish you blessings. Until our next video, may God richly bless you.